All right, guys, what's going on? So I got a little video for you here for the PS Vita. This is how to install custom firmware 365 Henkaku Enzo. Uh, this has been released by the Flow. Uh, there has been no negative output from any of the beta testers, and uh, there are a couple of precautions we're going to have to take before we install this. Now, first things first, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to have your PlayStation Vita system running 360 uh, firmware and uh, if it's official that's fine we can actually skip a step if you already have the Henkaku Enzo patch uh, you're gonna have to uninstall that for 360 and then uh, we're gonna have to reboot the device so first things first the files you're gonna need are these as follows we have our updater VPK uh, the PSP2 updat.pup and uh, you're going to need Vita Shell 182. So the first thing what we're going to have to do is, uh, well, obviously take our uh, PS Vita. If you haven't already, uh, what you're going to need to do on 360 firmware is you're going to have to install the Henkaku exploit and uh, install your molecular shell. So uh, we can go ahead and do that. There will be a link below. Uh, so that way you can... Uh, follow that video on how to install the Henkaku exploit and once you have done that what you're going to need to do is uh, you're going to have to install your um, after you install your molecular shell you're going to have to either a start your FTP client which will be shown in that video or if you already have Vita shell installed we're going to have to update it so what you're going to do is I'm just going to open up my Vita shell real quick uh, I already have 182 but I'm just going to show you guys where to place these files. So first things first, what you're going to want to do is uh, update your Vita shell to 182. Well, how do you do that? All you got to do is just drag and copy this Vita shell 182 over to your PS Vita system. If you're using the FTP client, uh, you're just going to simply uh, connect to your Vita via FTP which is uh, my connection right here again my other video will show how to do that so once you copy that over you're gonna exit USB you're gonna install the package um, preferably install Vita shell from molecular shell on your system just so it doesn't kind of uh, revolt and uh, kind of uh, defeat the purpose or run into any problems from installing it from Vita Shell. Uh, you, you probably won't run into any problems. I just like to use Molecular Shell to update my Vita Shell when I have it already installed. Now, after you've done that, there's going to be a couple of other things that you're going to need to do. So, what you're going to do now after that is you're going to open up your um, USB drive here and uh, you're gonna have to select your UXO which this right here is already uh, available and uh, what we're gonna do here is I'm just gonna punch in app and see if this directory exists yes it does okay so on your UXO you're gonna have to do that manually because for some reason in Vita Shell it doesn't let you doesn't let you do it like if I come over here and I show you the FTP client and I'll open this in a new window. You'll see that we have all these folders. You're going to look for UX0. And uh, if you open that up, you're going to look for the app folder. That's where we just went on our client, on our uh, Vita shell. So I'll just go back real quick to show you again. When you activate your USB connection with your Vita shell, all you're going to do is come up to this bar, leave your standard directory there as that which mine in this case is e colon slash and just punch in app lowercase letters and that will open up your app folder now what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to create a new folder and you're gonna have to call that folder um, update all capital letters and 365 so update 365 no spaces open that up and this is where we're going to copy the update PUP to the PSP2 update so once you have that file you can just drag and copy that over and allow that to copy like so <clears throat> now once that is done copying we can go back to the root directory of the um, UXO directory on our PS Vita so let that finish copying like so we have our PS 2 updat.pup right there 
and we're gonna go back and go back one more time till we're on the root of this UXO and last but not least what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take this updater VPK and place that in like so and once we've done that let's do a little recap so we've installed the Henkaku exploit we understand our FTP client with molecular shell again the link to that video will be below so you can follow that and learn how to do that Vita shell 182 has been installed and has been updated either through your Vita shell or molecular shell again I like to use molecular shell to update it uh, and make sure your Vita shell application is closed on your PS Vita once that has been updated we've copied our updater VPK to the root of the UXO directory on our PS Vita and we've also come here and gone to the app folder with our directory and created a folder called update365 and inside that folder we have placed the psp2 updat.pup so once we've done all that now we can finally go to the PS Vita system and we can finish this up alright so here we are back at the PS Vita system and again I, I apologize for this video just simply because I don't have a PS TV that I can sync this to so I can screen cap it so we're gonna have to do it like this so I am still inside my current Vita shell as you can see my version is 182 so it has been updated and again just a little recap here we're gonna come up here in our app folder and you can see I have the update uh, 365 folder there and uh, if we Go like that, you'll see my PSP2 update.pup. That is the 365 firmware. And uh, I will have all these links below for you guys to download. Now, the reason why I'm updating to 365 Enzo is just because I cannot copy over content using my content manager anymore with my PS3 because Sony has wonderfully patched that. So the only way to do it is to be on the latest firmware. Uh, but aside from that, so and uh, then we just have our updater VPK right here. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to install our updater VPK after we have updated our Vita shell 182, which you can see I have 182, that is the latest version. And again, you must do this or else your Vita shell will not work. And molecular shell is rendered useless because there is no longer a Henkaku exploit for 365. So I'm gonna install this updater VPK and it's going to say installing it's going to ask you this prompt right here and for extended permission so just hit x and it will install the vpk there we go so that is installed and now we just have to exit that and go back to the main screen so i'll be right back with our main screen and what we're going to be looking at all right so here we are at the main screen as you can see, I've installed my 365 Henkaku Enzo updater here. And what I'm going to do simply now is just reboot the device. Now, make sure any of your SUPRX, your plugins, if you have any of those, make sure those are uninstalled. Make sure your configuration text is back to a normal configuration text. Make sure there is nothing in the way of this. Your homebrew applications and stuff, those can remain. And... Uh, that's pretty much it. So we're rebooting this to basically just restart the Henkaku exploit and have just that exploit running in the background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start up my web browser here and I'm just going to install the Henkaku, which is henkaku.xyz slash go. And uh, just let that run and do its thing. It'll start it up, install the patch. And now we can do what else we need to do. So again, recapping, if you run into any problems, redo everything and uninstall all your apps um, or your um, plugins and make sure that it's good to go. Now, Enzo, click on that after the reboot and reinstalling the patch and hit start. Could not find UXO app update 365 okay so 15th time is a charm so I don't know I put the PUP in here and for some reason when I ran the Enzo the first time it extracted a whole bunch of stuff and uh, the PSP to update PUP just didn't exist so I put it back in this folder but left all this other fun jazz and we're gonna go see what happens so I'm gonna go back here I'm going to exit this, I'm going to close this out, and I'm going to go and reboot again. And see what happens. Wrong way. Hancock who 
settings, reboot device. Okay. So, if you put your PUP in that folder and you run it and then it says it doesn't exist, put it back in the folder and don't delete anything through your Vita shell. Alright, reinstall the exploit. Again, that's Henkaku XYZ Go. Ta-da. Good job. Running updater. Wow, that actually worked. Okay, so we we're about to update the custom firmware 365 Henkaku Enzo. Note that once updated, there is no way to downgrade. Blah, 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 blah. So you can press X to confirm or R to exit. So, again, what I did there is I had everything all set up, and it said that it couldn't find it, or the file was corrupt. In your UXO uh, app slash update 365 folder, put the PSP2 update PUP back in that folder, and don't delete anything else, and then redo the whole reboot process. So I'm just going to hit X. This software will make permanent modifications to your Vita. If anything goes wrong, there is no recovery, not even with a hardware flasher. The creators provide this tool as is without warranty of any kind, express or implied that cannot be held liable. Hit accept. And now we wait. Okay, so we're about halfway through the installation. And uh, it says, please do not press any buttons or power off the device, blah, blah, blah. See you on the other side. <laughs> Fucking idiot, man. The flow. Comical ass. Uh, no, oh, boy. Firmware update. So once it goes through that and verifies everything, it does take probably about three minutes. Uh, just let this go to the firmware updater. There we go. Installing the firmware. Please do not power off the system installation after installation is complete. The system will restart automatically and complete the update. So allow this to do its thing and run through this update here. Which I'm just going to stay on screen just so you guys can see the whole thing. And holding a camera with one hand is very shaky. Watch this. Shake, 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 shake. <laughs> All right, so again, like I said before, once you uh, go through and run the updater uh, VPK and it says that it can't find the file, oh, it found it. It just extracted a couple of things and you need to re-put the file there. That's what I did. So that's not listed in the description of install. So this is a first time thing for me as well. This is actually my first time attempting installing this as well. So looks like the system is uh, powering down. Oh, look, it reboots with a random-ass logo. Warning. We don't care. Updating the database. And voila. So if we swipe to the left here. Come down here. Got all of our fun jazz here. Settings. Start. And uh, let's see here, if we go down to, uh, let's see what happens if we go to system information. 3.65, custom firmware. And our Henkaku settings are still available. Enable our unsafe homebrew. Spoofed version 3.67 has been changed. And everything else looks the same. So, let's just go back to the main screen here. Open up our Vita shell. Looking pretty snazzy. 
So this is custom firmware Enzo, so now I should be able to uh, copy over my PSP game to install Adrenaline, which uh, Adrenaline and um, the, uh, let's see, VitaShell, Adrenaline, and uh, the PSP emulation, uh, what's that one called? Uh, Arc Custom Firmware, I believe, has been updated to work with 365 Enzo. So, rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys later. Enjoy this video. Again, all the links will be in the description below. This is going to be a very long description. And, uh, yeah, so I'll talk to you guys later. And uh, don't fret if it takes a little while to scan the file because I was, <laughs> my, my eyes were falling out of my face. So, uh, but it does work. So, that's that. Enjoy, guys.